I'm drinking a bourbon. Smoked bourbon. I'm white drinking. You're drinking a <laughs> pina colada. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> Hey folks, I am Captain Marky, the kid, kid coach, she's outdoors. Thanks for taking this time to spend a little time with the kid, Guess the day, my most. This episode, where are we? Down in Florida. I know it's not your favorite stuff, all right? We're not ready to freaking fish up here yet. Did a little ducking, but we're not ready to fish yet, all right? So you gotta bear with me. I agree with all your comments that the New York stuff is where it's at, all right? So we'll get back there, all right? Give us a little time. Spring is coming, all right? But we're still gonna do a couple more episodes down in Florida, all right? This episode, Mrs. Kids out there, right? We're going out there. We got the parker down there, two stroke. What's nice about the two stroke Yamaha, you can sneak up on the fish. <laughs> Kids, that's a lot as hell. No BS when I start that thing in the morning to go fishing. You see all my uh, neighbors grabbing their grandkids and getting them prepped for the boat start, all right? Two stroke. Okay, she's a little smoky. I get you. How dare you? But as far as I'm concerned, it's a good prep, all right? There's Nimrods and I guess into World War Three, so we're gonna learn how to use gas masks anyway, all right? You have stolen my dreams. This episode, what we do? This is a freaking mess. I got multiple trips here. I go out solo, all right? Uh, start whacking fish. Then I go out with this kid after a crazy wind. We went offshore. The whole place was scary monsters, so it's not fishable. Then the following day we went out with Phil and Linda and we crushed them again, all right? So there's gonna be multiple different videos here. Let's we'll see what we're doing here. And that's it, we got Khan shout out right there. What else we got? Now I'll do this right now. We went to the bike show in Cape Coral. Okay, so they should get, where's my gun? My gun's in my safe, right? I don't have my gun right now. But I joined two gangs, all right? Take a peek <laughs> at them right now. You'll see how they fit with me, all right? Right there, the gunfighters. And then my peeps are right there. These are Latinos, all right? These guys are speaking Spanish, which I love to see. I see that gang. Don't you dare mess with those guys. All right, guess if they smile most. Let's start. Let's just scoot over to. Now, is it Miss Kit catch a fish? What's going on here? What's going on here? Uh, basically, it's a bloodbath. We got the meat man Phil. Um, we got a lot of stuff going on. It's tough to see. Trying to bleed these guys in the bucket. Everything's good. Crime scene. Linda's high uh, big hook, high hook. The meat man. What do you got there? Got myself a little convict. <laughs> Ain't no ain't so little. <laughs> All right, folks, so here we go. What well, is Kid Coach? She's got an audio issue right now. I forgot to plug the uh, external mic in with the dead cat, and it blew it, all right? But here we are right now. I am going to be onto a fish pretty quickly. Linda is fishing upside down with a spinning reel. That's her technique. There I am right there. Mary Moo Chuck set. But what do I do? I got a complete jackass because Mrs. Kid's filming me, and she doesn't exactly know where to point the camera. But right here, legit cheap coming up. And uh, in the bucket, that baby's gonna go. All right, shrimp. We're gonna get to that bait in a second. Mrs. Kip right here whacking the fish. All right, boom. She is literally putting a ton of fish into the uh, cooler here. When I'm doing this, I'm catching them, bleeding, throwing them in the bucket. I'll get a couple in the bucket, then I'll dump them on the deck. The whoop blow will go out the scupper, and then we'll put them in the cooler. All right, always like I say, maintain that fish quality. Don't bring in sketchy fish. Make sure it is on ice, bled and on ice if you can let people eat it. All right, Mrs. Kid right here with a nice sheep set. And who's looking behind her? It's Phil. What the heck is he doing? I don't know. I think uh, where's Phil? Where's Phil? Where is he? Oh, there he is. I think. Oh no, I think he just dropped something overboard. Let's see what happens. See if you can find it. All right, I'm kidding right there. Uh, in Phil's defense, I showed him a picture of Michelle Obama in a bikini, and he immediately got sick. All right, so let's keep going on here. What happens next? Mrs. Kid is getting aggravated. You'll see her getting pissed at me right here. What's she doing? She stays focused. Sets up again, and she's on to the next one. We are on a mission right now to load up on sheep's head, and that's what we're doing, all right? I'm going to get to the bait, the fact of life bait, probably next. Here she is, another legit sheep that's going to go into the bucket then into the cooler all right and that's how that works this is a 100 percent fact of life bait see if i can get it close to you guys Please. that right there is a hundred percent fact of life fish hundred percent guaranteed fish right here won't edit i won't do anything Pull the face mask down so I don't look a psycho. But this is a fact I like that. I'm going to catch a fish on this. Wait till she gets the bottom. Because once she gets this, she gets black. Pretty cool. Slack. I'm going for the double hook set here. Oh, like I said. It's 
definitely the best bait for out here. This is exactly what I want. Exactly what I want. Wow. Of course, I don't have a net. I'm talking great for it. Wow. This guy is big, bro. That guy is big. Can you see him? <laughs> Can you see how big he is? He's a rather large. That's what I need. I need. That's probably going to be enough. Let's see. Oh, nay. That's what I need right there. All right, please. So that right there is a cherry vanilla technique. What am I doing? I'm cutting the tail off of the shrimp, and I'm taking the tidal tails, and I'm coming in not from the bottom. I'm coming from the top. So the hook now comes out the top, basically the back of that bait. And the bait right now will stay true. It kind of stays straight. And for some reason, those, those sheeps have want to hit that head like that. And it's a setup every time. When they use the tail, it's not as good. But 100% that bait right there, as you see, it's dangling right here. That's the bait that I would be doing. All right. If I were you, I would try that thing. Again, cut it. Get a good body size. And then just exactly how you see it on this video. And uh, drop it down. Pick up that slack. Say hello to it. All right. I know right now the shirt right now is probably offending maybe two of you out there because it really doesn't offend my audience. So buildable, why do I say that? Am I anti-Mexican? No. All right. Just a little disclosure who I am. 28 years in law enforcement. I was in New York City narcotics and I transferred out to Nassau County. I was a Nassau County narcotics detective and a homicide detective. Why do I even say that? Because it's credible. My, my knowledge is credible. All right. Narcotics. All of our narcotics are coming in through the south border. All right. Fact. All right, fentanyl is coming in like gangbusters. Not only that, people say, oh, you're, you're anti-Mexican. I'm not anti-Mexican. I'm anti-drug, anti-terrorist, and all that stuff. If you think that the Cali cartel is going to random houses of normal Mexican families and just putting, uh, doing home invasions on them, kicking the doors off the hinges, putting guns to their pregnant bellies and, and stealing all that. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was George Floyd that did that. Thank you, George Floyd. All right, he's, I don't know if you know who that guy is, but he's an American hero, apparently. What's coming through that border, and I know for a fact, is murder. This is, this is a day in the life of homicide, all right? Boom. And any homicide guy's going to tell you the same thing. Yo, get a phone call. Kid, what's up? Yes, uh, Border Patrol got one of your guys crossing the border. One of, your, one of my guys, mean one of my murderers, coming back through the border. That's what happens. Fact of life. All right, what else? Narcotics. Boom. Same thing. Trapped in all the narcotics coming through. There's more fentanyl now that this this guy, and I can't even stomach him, is allowing all this fentanyl like wipe this country out, everybody, ten times over, because he wants to get a couple of votes. You know, that's that's the sickest thing. It has nothing to do with taking care of Mexican families. It's not it's not even close to that. All right. We this is it. sick. We did it, Joe. You're gonna be the next president of the United States. <laughs> 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 We're screwed. Why am I going? I'm going on the ramp right now. All right, but that's my point. Build a wall, not to stop Mexican beautiful families from coming in here. Stop terrorism. Stop drugs from coming into this country. If you don't believe that, I cannot help you. You're lost, all right? I may be able to ask a couple of my viewers to help you get your lunch money back, but that's about all I can do for you, all right? So take care, brush your hair. Now we're going into a crime scene right now. What happens? Oh, it's going to be a crash. Superhuman powers. These things are the biggest pieces of shit. I got a shit fish on it. Which I just lost because it's a piece of shit. Damn, these are a piece of shit. on. You believe this shit? You mother truck. What a piece of shit. Piece of sh all right, 
Oh, I apologize there for the cursing. I don't, I just got aggravated right there. That was a brand new stick. It's a brand new tsunami rod, but it's a crappy one. Huh? They were selling these things over at the Ace Hardware, which is cherry that place over in Cape Coral. And they were selling for 59 bucks. I'm like, yeah, let me grab four of these bad boys, rig up everything. Snap two in two seconds, all right? They're just not well made, all right? Tsunami, I love, all right? I've had tsunami sticks forever. Those are the ones you always see me black fishing with. That's a tsunami stick. Thing's phenomenal. That particular one, if you ever see it, Stay clear of it. All right, the thing breaks up like a bad marriage. Get some tight. So I'm sure I'm gonna get help. Kid, lighten up on the hook set. And that's a negatory Big Ben, all right? You can't because what's happening, these fish right now are in a wreck and then nothing to sneeze at. <coughs> Who sneezed? All right, thanks there, female Harry Potter. But remember, snitches get stitches. My goodness. Get stitch. All right, where are we going with this? We're going in, you know, broken rod, what does that mean? Broken rod, con shout out, broken rod, con shout out. That's how it's working today. Right there, we had, a, we had a malfunction with the fishing rod right now. With my boy Dan, and of course, Buttons, a.k.a. Yukon Cornelius, <laughs> Dan's lovely wife. Taxi! Blood, we love you, kid. Congratulations for being this week's con shout out of the week. Dan, show his picture. Right there. Get it. Yes, ladies, that's con man Lud. We have arrived to the secret spot number one. First drop. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we're on the X. Pick. Some company here. Nice is that. <laughs> nice trigger fish, bro. All day long do I like the trigger fish. How nice is that? Fucking hey. You gotta put him in the bucket, make sure he's picking him. That's a kick right in the privets right there. That trigger fish, I think, is out of season. He gets to go home. That's what that's. That was fun, though. I gotta, I gotta admit, that was fun. Trigger fish on the menu. Look at the machine, not pretty. I gotta get kick a little forward like that. Definitely not in the kitchen. Give it a couple more seconds and I'm gonna do a wiggle. Just doing a wiggle there, guys. Just a wiggle, a little wiggle. That bottom just wasn't as sexy as I'd like it to be. So, we'll get there. Alright, starting to get sexy. Starting to get sexy. There it is. Don't waste your time, peeps. If you not have sexy bottom, don't waste your time. 
This has good bottom here and the top has got bait in it. I'm gonna say hello to this right here. Let Rodney Rodan do his thing. Let's get back to work. Players, I catch sheep's head all day long. Don't kid me. Don't kid yourself. But what I'm gonna do in a little bit, I'm gonna put slack if you want to bottom already. Oh boy. Oh boy. Man, I thought that was a big fish. What do you think of this? What do you think of this? Hang it down. Damn, I thought that was a big fish. This grouper, no joke. I don't want to freaking touch them. I'm like a horse here. Everything, everything in Florida hurts you. can hurt you. Man, I thought that was a proper one. We gotta go on ice in a second. Once this bait comes up, we'll ice the other guy up. I don't know what the hell it is. I ain't gonna touch it. Those fish, they got a viper, a venom viper in them. I have no idea. I ain't touching them. They scare me. This guy's there going nice. Alright guys, this is important. This blue bag here I use for bait. I usually fill it with uh, frozen bait for offshore, but I like putting fish now to catch and kill bags it just seems to work for me uh, i went out and bought this calcutta bag just after this trip because i needed more space to put these fish in catching a lot of fish so ice them do them right bleed them this is what i use for my blackfish charters like that my boys right there come on now but uh that's what you gotta do basically in a nutshell bleed them quick cut cut ice one thing these guys don't if you're not ready when that thing hits the bottom, you walk. Subscribe, players. Like, send it to a friend. Pete. We measure in that one. We are not measuring that guy. See the scissors right there hanging in the uh, live well. I'm gonna grab that thing, cut the gills on that young fella, let him bleed down the deck, put him in the ice. It looks like Hannibal Lecter was in the back of the boat. I ain't kidding. I don't like it. A lot of bodies. So I come down to Florida. I gotta catch fish for everybody. I can keep eight of those sheep, right? I right, keep. I'm gonna keep them a fair share. Give them out to people at the condo. Oh, I hung up and I got out. So when you know you're in the right spot, hanging up like that.
Two little crappy tails. Crappy tails, just go in there. Two little crap tails. Now have a little water, take a little break, rig up for some. That place, there you have it. The kid's missing fish like gangbusters right now. What happened? Oh my gosh, he's human. Yeah, how you doing, all right? I'm not fake news. I don't catch fish every three seconds, all right? I show you how it is out here, Kiko Chis Outdoors. Guess a dish man moots. That's why you trust me. That's why you dig the kid. At least one person does. Maybe one person. Whatever, all right? Reminder, reminder, right there. What Melville show is coming up on the 4th of March, all right? That show is going to be killer. Not only that, the kid is putting together a massive basket right now. What's going to be in it? Sterling Tackle is going to be in it. Thank you, Sterling Tackle. Maja, thank you, Maja. Giant Knight, Tile Tales. Thank you, Johnny Knight. Vince at All Pro. He's throwing stuff in there. You're going to need six people to carry this basket out. Not only that, inside that basket, a bunch of con gear and a trip with the kid and the crew. Blackfish in the fall for two, all right? You're going to hang out, fish with us, and you can be an episode of Kiko Cheese Outdoors. Who wouldn't buy? That raffle right there alone is probably going to have like three or four people trying to put money in to get it. I have dollars. Okay, so they should make a mooch, but the kid's going to be over at the Ward Melville show. The Gypsy's going to be there. The A-team's going to be there. Make sure you stop in. You'll see me milling around those people right there, right? Uh, what else? Went to the boat show, Miami boat show, and I'm going to be doing a quick run through right now. Mrs. Kid of one of their boats. What is it? It's the 27-foot Blackfin. Why are we doing that one? It was request. This is Kid's brother, Baby Hayes, all right, on Instagram. He just bought one. He bought it over at Great Bay right there. Good cats on Long Island. If you're going to look at a black fin, you go over and talk to people over at Great Bay. Good people. They call them Great Bay because they're great cats of days, all right? Let's do a quick walkthrough. 27 black fin. So I guess, if I bring him the brochure, do you think he has the brochure? Who bought this boat? My brother. Best From? brother ever. Great Bay Marine. All right, so here we go. The 27 black fin. Powered by twin Merc 3 Hundos. Colored in white, a little extra money right there. You got the aquarium live well right there. If that doesn't stink. All right, what else we got? A little workstation here. You can put some bait back there, frozen bait, ballyhoo. You can put beers back there, whatever you choose. A cockpit bolster drops down into a nice chair. Yeah, you need that for the kid right there, all right? Not exactly a basketball player. I could stand on that platform seat of the center console. Oh, what's that? That's tackle storage right there. Both Garmin, two screens. That doesn't stink either. Up top, we got a little storage up there, VHF, you want to throw it in there, your wallet, cell phone. And right, now we got the back seat. You can read War and Peace on this thing, all right? Look at the backrest on this thing. You feel like you're back at the diner, all right? Get some dish, my mosh. All right, now let's take a peek at this cabin. Very nice. Totally finished on the inside here. You got on the left-hand side here, you'll see all your AB switches for your batteries. You got a port potty in there. You got some cushions for the front, I believe. And this door right here is literally from a submarine. I mean, this thing is probably my favorite part of this boat is this door. There's no playing around with that door, all right? Coming up the port side here, pretty big uh, walkway to get up to the bow. We will let these people have their privacy, but you can see all the forward seating right there, storage underneath, and uh, backrest for the forward going, all right? So that's a cool little system right there. So there you go. That's a 27-foot black fin. I want to thank you guys for stopping in and watching the Kid Cochise episode. I know you got better things to do with your time. But not only did we go to the boat show, on the way there, we stopped over at the Holocaust Museum. Holy hat, bro. It just goes to show you how crazy stuff is. You want to be a socialist fascist in the United States? Get out of here. This is what you have when you have fascism and socialism, all right? This is what's going to happen, all right? Thank God that back in the day, the American soldier who doesn't care about misgendering their own drill sergeant right now is out there and they took care of this and what they do, good over evil always wins, all right? I want you to take a peek at this. Six million people were killed, all right? Let's not go backwards in history, all right? Let's make America great. Till next time, may the grace of God shine upon you and your family. Stay in his favor, players. Remember, good over evil always wins. Mm -hmm.